Hey, I'm Sunshine, and this is my print-in-place distance measuring roll. As you guys know, print-in-place means that the whole part is printed in one go with no assembly and no supports. So this is how it comes off the build plate and then you can use it right away. The way the part works is that it's a wheel that is dimensioned correctly that one turn equals a quarter of a meter. So that means if you count the number of turns it does, you can measure the distance. However, nobody wants to sit here and count how many rotations one of these things does. That's why we use a cycloidal gear to count for us. A cycloidal gear works by an eccentric shaft that pushes the cycloid onto some pins. In our case, we have six, 16 lobes on the cycloid and 17 pins, which means after a single rotation, the lobe would have advanced one step. So effectively, you have a 1 to 16 reduction. You might be asking yourself, but what's up with the planetary gear set in the middle? Well, in this case, it acts like a bearing. It reduces the friction and makes the movement a little bit smoother. And also, it looks really cool. <laughs> I've made two different versions. One with like a normal A, B, C, D marking, and another one with dot markings. In this case, you would have to use a power drill and a piece of filament to friction stir weld the markings into the cycloid. Once you've done this and you have a marked cycloid and the tool is ready to be used. Also, to give some additional grip to avoid slippage and wrong measurements, I made a little bit of a groove where you can put in a rubber band to make it a little bit more grippy. So, the way you measure is you make sure that the center arrow is pointing downwards and that your marking that you selected is in the zero position. So, when it's at zero, you place it with the arrow pointing downwards and then you roll it along your surface that you want to measure. At the end, you lift it up and you check the measurement. When you are ready to read your measurements, you simply look at the dial, so the length of this table is then 6 quarters plus 4 seventeenths of a quarter meters which, if you add it up, is around 1.56 meters. So, and now if we just take a measuring tape to just confirm our... Mm. Well, I never said it was very accurate. Okay, so, let's talk about this print a bit. To make this thing print in place, I had to use some tricks. First of all, I used the bearing gear, or the planetary gear set, with double helical profiles. This makes it so that neither the cycloid nor the planetary gears fall out because the sun gear is actually attached through this little knob at the top. And you might be thinking, hey, that's a surprisingly big overhang. And you would be right. And to make this overhang print cleanly without supports, I used the same trick that I used in my 3D printed box video. If you haven't seen that, well, I'm a bit disappointed, to be honest. In general, it's just a staggered layer, so it basically bridges a lot shorter of a distance at a time, and then it builds on top of those bridges the next layer above. Because of that reason, you have to print this part with 0.2mm layer height or finer. The tolerances between the gears and the cycloid and pins is 0.3mm at least. However, since there are so many interaction points, printing this part is actually a lot difficulter than- So, thank you for watching. While it might not be the most useful measuring tool in the bucket, you can still use it as a great little fidgeting toy where you can like wee, do all this all day. And otherwise, thank you for watching. Please consider subscribing. Look, go look at my other stuff. I have a lot of prints. And yeah, see you guys later. <laughs>